We are already waiting for July because that is when the 7th and sadly penultimate season of Game of Thrones will air. This coming end of the show does not however mean the end of Westeros. No matter how the Game of Thrones will end, new projects are already planned. All in all there are 4 scheduled spin-offs that tie into the Game of Thrones universe. We took some time to think about just how these spin-offs could look like. And now we will present you 6 possible scenarios. If you think this has a happy end. You haven't been paying attention. The backstory of all backstories. Game of Thrones examined the surface of the backstory of the land of Westeros. We were already introduced to both the children of the forest and the giants. Last time we've seen a giant, Jon Snow. These creatures were among the first inhabitants of the continent. A spin off series could show us their story and showcase how mankind first arrived in Westeros. That would also be a war story, only this time around between magical beings, giants, and humans. Come with me or die. With him. The war ended with a truce that kicked off the Age of Heroes and therefore the Age of Mankind. This show could also explore the legend of the Long Night, the winter that lasted for an entire generation. During that time period the White Walkers plagued the humans, giants and the children of the forest all together. <laughs> With this tale we would have a true fantasy story at hand that could focus on the hero Azor and his sword the Lightbringer. In addition to that the show could feature the construction of the wall that was created as a barricade against the White Walkers. The Night's Watch the story of the brothers in black who keep Westeros safe from intruders and other threats from the north is also worth telling. This show would have the opportunity to explore the land beyond the wall and ice a little further. The series could focus on a young recruit just like Jon Snow. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. Thus we would have the chance to witness the conflicts beyond the wall as this young crow is sent on expeditions. This spin-off would even do well without the intrigues and the royal families and would rather be an adventure series that could feature fantasy elements. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Valyria. Valyria could tell the rich story of the house of Targaryen, the house of the dragon which once reigned over the beautiful capital of Valyria. For thousands of years the Valerians were the best in the world at almost everything. This show would be filled with intrigues and even more dragons than Game of Thrones. <laughs> Should Daenerys win the Game of Thrones in the ongoing story she could tell this tale of her ancestors and spread the word of the great dragon lord. Robert's Rebellion. This is a story that we're already familiar with due to stories and flashbacks within Game of Thrones. However, a spin off could actually fully tell the prequel story of Game of Thrones. What Rhaegar Targaryen did to your sister, the woman I loved. I'll kill every Targaryen I get my hands on. Prince Rhaegar Targaryen kidnapped Lyanna Stark, who was engaged to Robert Baratheon. Jaime Lannister became the Kingslayer, Ned Stark fought alongside his friend Robert, and the fall of the House of Targaryen was sealed. A show like that could offer us many familiar characters in their youth and would be a nice prequel that could directly tie into the original series. The Mad King is dead. Rhaegar lies beneath the ground. Why weren't you there to protect your prince? Dunk and Egg. This story could definitely be used for one of the spin offs. After all, George R. R. Martin already wrote three books on the Hatch Knight. These tell the story of the squire Dunk, who takes the sword of his dead master in order to become a knight himself. While traveling through Westeros, the Hatch Knight stumbled upon the young Egg who became his squire. The story of the knight who will one day become Sir Duncan of the Kingsguard and his squire Egg, who is in fact a Targaryen, could make for an interesting buddy knight show that takes place long before the events of Game of Thrones. This show would however need to have two extremely solid main actors whose on screen chemistry should also work. The three books would definitely deliver material for at least three seasons. The Houses of Westeros. We already know the Starks, the Lannisters, the Tyrells and the Martells of Westeros. In addition to that there are the Freys, the Greyjoys and the list goes on and on. There is no shortage of royal families on the continent of Game of Thrones. So how about an anthology show like American Horror Story or Fargo? Each season could focus on a new house. A series like that could take place before, 
after and even during the events of Game of Thrones. And one could make use of a huge pool of characters. I'm not sure. What do you think? What kind of Game of Thrones spin-off would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about the Inhumans or Batgirl, then check out these videos.